Okay guys, so welcome back and we're going to finish up this fragment uh, revisited part 2 series. It's going to be probably the last episode and what we're going to do is we're going to save the instant state. So in order to do that, how we're actually going to implement this is, if we look at this here, okay, when the fragment is added, we want it to save the state of the fragment added. We want to save which fragment was actually added to the uh, activity. So when we rotate it, it will be able to tell. All right, if, yeah, no, we don't save which frame, we save which position. So what we're going to do is, we're going to create a new variable called position. Up here, okay. And that position variable, we're going to say this dot position equals position. Okay. Or is that we'll just say last. Okay, because it, it, it makes more sense if you say last position. Okay, so if last position, ready to go. So that stores that value in last position. So what we need to do now is we need to actually override another method. And this is called a save instant state. So if we go back to our source and we go to override implement, and we're going to say on save instant state is what we're looking for here. There, on save instant state. Kaching. Bundle out state. So what are we doing here? Well, what this does is, when you get rid of an activity, um, you want to save data. Like, let's say you had an activity, a big form, okay, or something that a user was filling out, and then you rotate the device. All of those fields will be wiped clean because don't forget the activity is completely destroyed and broken down and then rebuilt back up. But in the building up process, you want to add that data back into the form so the user doesn't lose progress. So that's what we're actually going to do here is we're going to implement a meta system where this bundle, this uh, on save instance site system, where in on create, this bundle here, we'll show you what that's for in a second, but we're going to save all this in a bundle. So we're actually going to say uh, out state. Okay. Dot put uh, int. And the key is going to be position. So we're going to save this in the bundle. And its value is going to be uh, last position. Okay, so that's that done. We've got our last position. Now, the original last position is actually going to be equal to minus one. Minus one, because the position should never be minus one, okay? Um, don't forget, if we if we load in, a don't forget, if a fragment is loaded in, the position that it was la of the last fragment loaded in, gets loaded into this uh, array or this uh, variable here and it gets stored. So so then what's happened is our activity has been destroyed and we've stored our int in our out state bundle. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to actually um, modify uh, our on create method here. So after set, set content view when we found all our views, we're going to test for the bundle. Okay, so we're going to say if this bundle is not equal to null. So what's this doing here? Well, the bundle that you saved here, when the activity is recreated, gets passed in here. But let's say we get in a situation where we did, it looks like this, okay? No position has been saved in here, okay? Yeah, no, no position is actually saved. So when this activity is destroyed, it's gonna store a position equal to one. So the bundle's not equal to null, okay? So if there's data, we need to get the position. So we're gonna say int, uh, int restored position. I'm a little bit hairy on this equals saved instant state dot get int uh, 
and it's going to be our last position or it's going to be it's just called position I believe yeah so we've saved our position and we've restored it so we've got that we've got our position so now what do we do we're going to put in a little test here if last position or if position if restored position is equal to minus one in other words if it's equal to our default position up here so if if it's minus one if uh, yeah if it was minus one that means we hadn't clicked on anything don't do anything so if it's not equal to minus one in other words if a fragment was added we need to add that fragment into the activity again so actually you know what we'll, we'll actually uh, move this bundle element up here okay it just makes sense to move it up there out of the way because then we can reuse it so what we're going to do is we're going to run this here actually you know what we can do we'll actually call this method so you're probably wondering what the hell have I done here well I've restored my position out of it and if it's not equal to minus one what we're going to do is we're going to handle the element click so this method here will actually handle everything for us so the position is not equal to one that means we've we have saved an activity somewhere so we're going to restore it and when we restore it it's going to uh, handle that and it's going to pass it into the new activity depending on what's happened you see I'll, I'll give you a demonstration of it now but essentially our activity saved it and then we're going to pass it in okay so I say nitrogen okay good now we're going to hit home now we're going to restore it by bringing up the list of uh, things of fragments tutorial and it should have nitrogen will appear back on it Hazam. so then if we rotate this it should load up the other activity automatically and look at that look it load up and then if we press back it's loaded it up see what happened there so what, ha what, what actually happened was it's done that. and then if we go control rotate again nothing should appear okay nitrogen is appearing there oh yeah sure it was stored earlier so do you see what happened there when you press control f11 and we rotated it it was here and then we could go back so what happened was it stored position I believe nitrogen's position 6 or 7 on the table no it's, it's element number 7 but it's in position 6 so yeah position 6 was done so what happened was it stored that position here it saved it and then when we restored our bundle it found out okay there's information in the bundle and then it goes okay the position is not equal to minus 1 therefore handle that click so it behaves as if it was clicked and it loads up the last element you saw and that's how it works now when it comes to saving instance states it can be very confusing and very meddling and it's something you need to work out for yourself in your own activity but I just want to show you how I implement it here anyway guys that's this tutorial that's this um, activity and this whole thing now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to take this um, source code and I'm going to put it somewhere online and then you can play around with it now I should have links to it in the first episode but we'll see what happens I need to find somewhere to post this I might put it on github or somewhere like that but anyway guys as always make sure to like comment and subscribe and it's been good talk and it's been a good series on fragments revisited and I'll see you next time for the next tutorial